Now we move on to exercise 4b of getting to know ArcGIS Desktop, updated for ArcGIS 9.3. Exercise 4b begins on page 66, and if you don't already have Arc Catalog opened, go ahead and open Arc Catalog by simply going to your Programs ArcGIS file and clicking on Arc, Catal Arc Catalog. I already have mine open, so that makes it slightly easier. Today we'll be learning how to search for data in Arc Catalog because as you see there's a lot of data and it's, um, it can be confusing if you're just looking for one small piece of, uh, of data or if you're looking for a specific, a specific area of data and you have um, a large tracks of data. So, to begin in, uh, a search in Arc Catalog, you click on the search icon. First, uh, look at the name and location. We're going to start a search we'll call Earhart. So, so we change the Save As Earhart. You can look for a specific data type. Right now we'll be looking for all data. Yes, it's, an, it's a it's a search for uh, our catalog, and look in. This is um, what you need to change because we will be looking specifically at just the data in Chapter Four. So go ahead and add Chapter Four to looked in. The next thing that you'll want to change is the Geography tab because we will look in a specific geographic lo location. So go ahead and click uh, for Use Geographic Location in Search and where oh no we want to be looking in Oceania East because this is the area that um, Amelia Earhart disappeared in let's go ahead and click Oceania East if you, if you know specific coordinates then you can go ahead and enter them, but since uh, we will be slightly more general. You can also draw the box, but Oceania East, as you see, is the is the red area, which is exactly where Amelia Earhart went missing. Secondly, you don't want to look just in the area, but also any data which overlaps. So for example, there may be a part of data that overlaps here, and we want uh, we also want that okay now go ahead and click find now the cat Arkella will start searching and you'll see two things immediately happen the first is that it finds data which is displayed on the right hand side and the second is that the search result is displayed at the bottom you know that the art catalog is done searching when catalog search finished is displayed in the left hand side of your display. Now go ahead and uh, look at you can click click the search away. We're done, we're finished searching. You can look at one specific. Let's say you want to look at a seafloor TIFF select that and move on to preview. This is um, a different type of data set than, you're, than you've seen before. This is uh, called raster data which means that every pixel has its own information. So go ahead and make sure that the identify tool is uh, selected. Go ahead and click on anything. You'll see each pixel has a value and an ID if you click on a white it will have no data because it's above ground and this is a data set on uh, ocean floor depth if you stay in the preview tab and go ahead and move to seafloor layer and this is uh, the same but represented with, with, with color so the deeper, the higher the value, I should say lower the value because it's a negative number, the darker the blue. 
and we're 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 actually quite familiar with seeing these data, but um, now you know how they're made. Okay, our catalog can also show different types of data, not only not only raster data. For example, if you go to the flight divergence layer. you'll see the the planned trip and the actual flight of Amelia Earhart. Now this is a very important point. It's um, the last point for exercise 4A and I'm sorry, exercise 4B and that is we're now looking at a layer. What a layer is is not the actual data but a representation of the data. For example, the shape file it has the same name. This is flight divergence layer. You have flight divergence shape. This is the actual data. And when you are making a map, for example, you will you make a, a line, for example, as this is a line. And that is the actual data. However, on a map, you will often make layers from your data. So if you're if you're going to send uh, a layer, make sure that the shape file is attached because the layer will not show what will not work without the associated shape file, and that goes the same for flight path. Any layer file which is made of different shape files, all of the shape files must be sent along with them. Okay, if you've finished with this, uh, you can go ahead and um, play around, make sure you understand everything, and move on to exercise 4C.